Hello guys, this is Beta. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I have recently graduated from U of T and I just want to share my thoughts on some of the courses they have taken and I uh, like them and I, and I just want to recommend them to you. So keep watching this video. The first course is uh, PCL 102. Uh, hands down, one of the easiest courses that you can find in U of T as a science uh, major. Uh, this course you don't even have to show up to the lectures except one time that they have like some participation mark is like one percent uh, That one you should go if you want to get the one percent But other than that if you just uh, read off the slides uh, lecture slides, you're gonna do well, right? The other course that I think is somewhat doable is NMC 1 or 2, right? Uh, this course uh, Okay, disclaimer. I did okay. This was just a breath requirement for me, so I cannot. Uh, I didn't study that hard for it. I just made a credit, no credit. But for the first midterm, I barely studied and I got like 90%. For assignment, I think I put like little effort and I got like 87%, right? Uh, for the final, I just didn't study because I knew it was already a pass. Uh, but NMC 102, if you're interested somewhat in history, I uh, thousand percent recommend this course. All right, for second year courses, uh, the uh, one of definitely one of the best courses that you can take is MGY 250 and MGY 277. Uh, they were uh, online courses, uh, at least uh, what I remember, and uh, it was very easy to do well. It was very easy to get an A, and uh, yeah, I would hundred percent. Another course, uh, a lot of people take it, NFS 24. It is somewhat an easier uh, course compared to the courses that you're gonna take at U of T. Uh, but at least uh, know this uh, know this beforehand that there's a ton and to uh, tons of uh, material that you're gonna uh, put in your uh, brain. Uh, it's not as easy, I would say, as MGY 250 and 270. Uh, but the thing is, uh, you can do well. Uh, and also the readings, uh, somewhat important for NFS 284. Keep that in mind if you're uh, taking my favorite course. courses, HMB 202. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cover the HMB 302. Uh, these uh, two courses, uh, they're doable. You can do well on them. You can get A at least uh, in these courses. And I 100%. The other course is anthropology, ANT 203 and 208. Uh, ANT 208 is an easier course. It comes with tutorial. Uh, 203 comes with lab. It got, it has more work, uh, but you can definitely get like A or A minus in that course. So definitely recommend that one. Also, HPS 210 and HPS 211. There are uh, there are great courses, especially HPS 211, and uh, definitely recommend that one uh, for your uh, breath requirement. As you go to third year, I believe some of the courses are uh, actually easier than the first year and second year. So uh, this is uh, if you want to boost your GPA, this is the uh, this is the time. Uh, CSP three four three easy course. Uh, they tell readings are twenty percent and they're not. They're uh, basically zero percent. Uh, very straightforward. Uh, CSP three fifty one. Uh, this course they gave you ten percent boost for every test, five or ten percent boost, and. Uh, I started the course with 70%, uh, wound up with 94, so you can do it too. Um, the other courses, uh, Anatomy 301, a lot of people told me, why are you recommending Anatomy 301? It's an Anatomy 301. Uh, it's, not a, it's, not a, it's not an easy course, and a lot of people don't like it. Uh, there's a tons of material, it's like four hours of lecture. Uh, and it probably wasn't like super nice, at least. Uh, I don't like her. Uh, I don't like her. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the course is very doable. Um, the course is very doable. The other course is at uh, CSP three four six. The course uh, has a three uh, three four six. The course comes with uh, three two readings. I'm sorry, two readings or th uh, three readings assignment, something like that. Uh, but the course material easiest course ever. Like, I don't know how that's like a third year course. CSP 346, very straightforward. The prof is also a good person. Uh, M340 and M350, uh, very doable, very doable. We can do, you can get A or A minus. Uh, even if you are not a, even if you are not a, a immunology major, uh, but I still recommend that course. Those courses, I'm talking about M340 and M350. Uh, CSP 327, uh, that course is uh, very like it's straightforward ish, but the test they literally ask you what was asked on the uh, lecture. 
they're not gonna mess with you on the test, uh, which is uh, pretty nice. HMB 300, and also HMB 302. HMB 300, there are two different courses, by the way. I think HMB uh, 302 is a histology course. HMB 300 is a mm, neurobiology course, right? Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, those two courses are uh, straightforward, uh, very doable. HMB 300 comes with a tutorial, 302 comes with a lab, but the lab was nice. Uh, CGH uh, 332, I think this is one of the best courses that you can take as a third year uh, student. Uh, it's online, so if you uh, live far, uh, far away from university, that is, that is a bonus. It was a bonus for me. Uh, uh, CSP uh, 353. Plant immunology, be careful about the readings, uh, but the course, uh, very straightforward, uh, very doable. And for the fourth year courses that I've taken and I like them, HMB 470. Uh, this course is, is uh, uh, the course is heavy, uh, but it's doable. It is doable compared to the other fourth year uh, courses that I've taken. It is, I would say, it's like a third or a second year course on a steroid. You know what I mean? It got nothing like crazy for it going on, but at the same time, the course material could be uh, could be somewhat uh, challenging, but it's doable. I would definitely recommend it if you're, if, especially if you're HMB health and disease uh, major.